Hello and welcome to another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. My name is Dean and again this being winter it's time to go through some of the gear so I figured what I'd do today would be just focus on drinking vessels cups and so on because believe it or not cups can be quite important for all kinds of things when you're out in well, whether you're car camping or backpacking or whatever and so again I was going through my gear and here's a few of the choices we've got so let's start I'm going to sort of list over the pros and cons of all of them this is your basic cup that comes with say if you get one of those cook sets uh, I just want to see here can't see any measure the better cups have measurings like, like a measuring cup on the inside but these do not this is from the GSI little uh, glacier not even a cook set, it's just a knife and bowl and plate and cup. So anyways, this is basic. No insulative properties. You can maybe dig with it in sand, but you can't dig with it in everything else. And that's the key to this video is I like to pick gear that's got more than one um, use. So that puts little guys like these in the extra weight category sorry got a bit of a cold coming on now here's the second one this is actually a common mug for car camping it's a very cheap one this is actually a better one this is a Stanley e-cycle camp mug the nice thing is they're a bit insulated not terribly insulated though I'm not even sure how insulated they are in fact but yeah basic mug and it's fairly lightweight and it's fairly compact. Problem with this is the top comes off way too easy and it does not screw in. It's just got a little gasket there. So watch out for cups like this because you'd be drinking and all of a sudden pfft, got yourself a coffee shower, you've scalded your nipples or whatever. And for personal experience, that's not fun. So yeah. This is this is basic if you're if you're car camping or trailer camping or stuff. But even then, you got to watch it. And the other thing, the lid falls off. You've lost it in the in the uh, in the bush, and that's an ordinary cup. So I picked this up in my order this summer. It's not bad, but really, all I use it for is around the house. Now we're getting into something a little better. I happen to like mugs with a little flip top on it, like the kind you get from well, you're coffee shops and so on they are a little heavy for taking out into the bush for the most part this is the Stanley adventure clip mug and actually you see in the handle it has a little clip clip this onto your pack hang it on there that's quite nice um, it is insulated it is stainless steel inside is it no it's plastic inside. It's just stainless steel on the outside. Ooh, they got me there. I thought it was a cool mug. If you see the lid, you can see it's just got those two little indentations, so it's a screw down lid. Which I always cross thread. Decent mug, but it's only got one function. Um, if I'm getting a stainless mug, got to be insulated and it should be stainless on the inside because stainless actually is a little better with food than plastic because plastic can get scratches in it and keep bacteria in it and you name it. Uh, I also don't necessarily like the lid because like I said it's screw on there's that little U cut out and you have to get it just right or coffee comes out the side and you drink it like this. Decent mug for $7.50. It's on sale on the Stanley website. But once again, this stays at home normally. Unless I'm going fishing, then it's okay. But there's other travel mugs I carry for fishing. So now, those are the not so great ones. Now we're getting into stuff that does double duty. Start with this one. This is a $5 purchase I made at Real Canadian Superstore. This is your basic travel mug right what I like about it it does have that little flip open lid but the reason I bought this one is because it's got something else 
Now the lid screws on fairly well. You got to watch anything in this, in the threads here, is going to cause it to leak. But take a look at that. It's actually a coffee press. Let's talk about these for a minute. You can buy GSI coffee presses or other ones. I've seen them upwards of thirty to forty dollars, and that's U.S., not Canadian. This is just a basic little gasket and a filter on here. So it goes in there, you put your coffee or tea, and when it's ready, you just push this down. You drink out of it or you pour it into another cup. So this is something that, like I say, it will serve more than one purpose. If you don't want to bring a big coffee percolator, French press coffee is very good. I've actually enjoyed it for about 30 years now. So again, nice little alternative. It is plastic, so you won't be putting this anywhere near a fire. But yeah, most of the mugs I've seen actually, that's, that's the way it works. So there's a neat little choice. Saves you carrying a coffee pot if you want to travel really ultra light. And it is, you know, it's only about three ounces. Next choice is something different. This is another double duty item. This is the GSI Glacier Pot Mug or Cup Pot. So it's actually quite big. Well, it's actually about as big as a regular coffee cup maybe a little more. The nice thing I like is it is stainless. Now people don't like metal mugs because they burn their lips on it. Yeah you can burn your lips on these, just be careful. What I do like about this versus the little crummy Sierra cups which make a really awful cup but a great ladle for stew is yeah it's flat, it sits nicely, you can put this on top of a camp stove. The other nice thing is the handle is pretty secure and it's got one of these wrap around handles. I'll show you one of these in another kit I've got in another video. The other beautiful thing about that mug this is a one liter Nalgene bottle and it's made to nest right in there. So if you've got a water bottle pouch put this at the bottom got a cup if you ever need it. So this is good. The other nice thing I like about metal cups like this is you can use them as a digging utensil in a pinch. These are strong enough, I mean it's not going to make the cup very pretty when you're done with it, but you could actually dig with these. And that's actually something I like, so it has more than one use. Let's look at some new ones I picked up during the Christmas season. This is the GSI Fair Share mug. So it's almost four cups. Actually, to the top, it is four cups. Just picked this up. Haven't used it in the bush yet, but the nice thing about this is it is a large cup. It's got three different types of measurements down the side that is cups, ounces, and milliliters. This will actually function as a bowl. So if you've actually got a bowl in your cook set or in your you know, chow kit, this can replace it. BPA free plastic like the rest of this. So also very, very um, sturdy. You can actually, what I often do is with something like this, I will pack all kinds of food in this and it will stay in my um, in my food bag. Uh, the other thing is it also gets a lot of water out of a stream or whatever and you can pour it right into your uh, in my case I pour it right into my um, gravity filter. One of the complaints about this, the directions even say do not use for, for carrying liquids. It does not have an o-ring so it is not completely watertight. The other thing is, 
again because this is just a lid. It's great for rehydrating your boil in a bag stew or something like that but you can't carry water in the pack. The other thing is there's no way to drink through this when the lid's on so you know nice big handle nice big mug but a lot of people on the mountain equipment co-op site for example find this to be a drawback they don't like to have to take the lid off their mug all the time I suppose you can get used to anything but this I like it's very hard um, you can put a surprising amount of food or a brew kit or whatever in there comes to the last option I'm going to talk about today this is another GSI product. Look at that. Look how tiny that is. Look how thin. This is the collapsible fair share mug. It's got a handle here with two positions. Hold it there. Hold it that way. Now once again it does not have a watertight lid. But this is the lid. It does not have measurements either that's what the, the mug looks like. I kind of like some of this collapsible silicone cookware and stuff. I actually have a set of bowls I use for mixing and for re rehydrating things. So this is another choice. Got a nice big carabiner hole on there just like the one in the handle here. So this is another option. Silicone is fairly insulative so this might keep your drink warm a little longer also functions as a bowl. The only thing I would caution is I wouldn't use any terribly sharp utensils. People have said it works but I don't know I'm a little skeptical there. I'm, I'm a little I wouldn't want to put a hole in this because they're like 11 bucks. Alright so then what you do when you're done with it put the lid on loosely just collapse it down and then do the lid up There you go. So this is going to be coming on a couple of trips with me. Probably these two for the first few because I've got some hard and rigid for a basic cup of coffee and I've got a replacement bowl that's lighter and more compact in my little chow kit. This is cool as well. I mean here's, here's the two options here. Just if you take this along just hope you don't have to measure anything or have something else you can do it with. So that's a general overview of you know drinking vessels. I am not one that I kind of get a kick out of all the gadgets and gear and so on and I look through dozens of bits of gear before I settle on what I have here and again different purposes. One of the funny things is yeah I mean they've got wine basically platypus bags made for wine. They've got little wine glasses, martini glasses, flasks with shot glasses. Uh, I don't tend to get drunk in the bush because well where I go it's not a campsite. It's usually way out in the backcountry and if something happens well you're screwed. So you know I, I don't tend to go for the I go I don't even consider that bushcraft or backpacking or camping. In fact, I consider it what you'd call glamping. No, no word of a lie. I mean, there's a lot of gear out there that's exactly what it's for. You, uh, you know, you truck a few duff, duffel bags full of stuff and sleep in a pre-made tent or wall tent or something even better and pretend you're camping that's what that stuff's for you know it makes you look cool but not very utilitarian everything you see here actually is so there's more than one function except this there's only really one function it's a well mixing bowl mug whatever but it's just because it's very very small okay so that's about done this topic to death uh, I'm sure there's other gear I'll pick up in the in the next year or so that I'll show you about this but this is a start it's always good to have a mug of some sort while you're out uh, 
doesn't matter if you're car camping, canoe camping, backpacking, whatever. But this is a good start. All right, so thanks for watching another Alberta Bushcrafter video. My name's Dean. Take care and good day.